Hello everyone and welcome back to Cantati Plans. This is Carmen. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Here in my channel, I show you guys how I functionally and decoratively plan in my planners for the weeks and for the months. And on occasion, I also share a few of my shopping hauls and lifestyle type videos as well. Today, I am going to be showing you a haul. It's a very small haul. It's just this one item, but I wanted to go ahead and show it to you before I started using it. This is a new planner that I just picked up from Staples. It is designed by Blue Sky and Belinda Celine, who is here on YouTube. I'll go ahead and link her channel down below. But I love this planner collaboration between, like I said, Blue Sky and Belinda Celine. And I wanted to show you guys, just in case if you guys were interested in purchasing, there are other designs. I just chose this one because it's lavender and y'all know lavender and gold are my favorite colors. So um, let's go ahead and take a look. So it's a 2425 tabbed planned planner. It has weekly and monthly pages and it runs from July 2024 through June 2025th and it also includes two bonus months but those two bonus months were June and May of 2024. So that's what this little paper tells us and here on the back it says a little bit about the collaboration between Belinda Celine and Blue Sky and this is a little bit of information about her um, in case you guys want to read that and it also shows you all of the social social media platforms she's at belinda celine on instagram so here's the cover and i like the cover because it's really tough so it can pretty much make it through anything so it's got lavender and white outline of florals and in the center in the gold it says planner 24 25 love it oh and also the spirals are gold too on the inside, the inside is white, but then this cover here is the same as the outside, but it has a little bit of what that little paper tab in the front said. Then here you have your yearly overview for 2024 and 2025. Then here in the front, it says this planner belongs to, and it has a place where you can put your address, phone number, and email if you want to. And then it has a whole list with little check boxes for you to put in your yearly goals. Here on the left, it has a contact page. You put the name and details of the person. Here on this side, it says important dates for all the months that are included in the calendar. Then you have your bonus month. So here is the monthly. Got the previous month and the future month here for you to take a look at if you need to and then a little note section here I love that and I love the font of the months like I love that font so here's the month and then here is the second bonus month which is June you got May and July here in the note section then you start with the tabs here the tabs are all the same which I appreciate all right, so here we have July, and instead of being at the top here at the bottom, we have the month before and the month after the current month that's here. We have July, and then the little notes section, and then we head into our weeklies. This is a horizontal planner, but I like the way this one is formatted. Other ones have the Saturday and Sunday down here, and they're split up, so they're small little boxes, and I really don't like that because... I want all the days to have an equal representation. So what they did here, which I like, is here on the left, on the top left, it says the month, but then it also says top priorities this week. And it's like a blank little square here. And you can just write down things you want to get down during get done during the week. Not necessarily if they have an assigned date, you obviously put them where they go on which day, but if they just have to be done within the week. That's what you put here. Okay, and then you go into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the left, and then you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the right. But I love how each day of the week has the same amount of space for you to write, which I love that. And then it's the same thing for each day or each week. And the paper quality is a little thin, but that's okay. I don't think I have told you guys what I plan on using this planner for. So I have planners that I use for specific functions and that's all that I write in there like whatever that planner is designated for for example my social media planner only my social media plans go in there my um, journal that one I just write daily affirmations in that one and that's it 
And then I have my catch-all, which puts everything kind of in a lump sum. That one ends up being really full of information, jam-packed. But then I said, you know, there's just some weeks where I want to decorate a planner spread, but I don't want to necessarily have it used for anything. I just want to be able to decorate it and be creative and use it as an outlet. So that's what I'm going to use this for. This is going to be my creative journal. I'm going to see how I like it. And so what I'm going to do with the creative journal is decorate the spreads, but not write any plans, not write anything in it. Just decorate the spreads. That way I have a little bit of a creative outlet. And I'll be sharing this one with everyone um, as soon as I start using it and stuff like that. I'll share it, maybe do flip throughs of month or flip through of the weeks in a month if you guys are interested in something th like that let me know but that's kind of what I was thinking of doing this for just using it as a creative outlet so here's the last one for July and then here we come into August so here's the monthly and then again all of the months are the same layout they're all horizontal I hope that blue sky continues to partner with Belinda Celine because I really like her style and how she kind of reflected that style here in these planners. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and just go now through the months here. Love how everything stays the same, very neutral on the inside. Love it. So we're coming up to May, and then June's going to be the last month included here. And so we're going to go through the weeklies and see what else is included here in the back. I might do some back planning in the creative journal since it is just a, journal, a creative journal where I'm not writing anything. I might go back all the way into, the, into uh, what is it, July, even though we're already past that, just to decorate the spreads. We'll see. Okay, and all right, this is the last week, and then we go into two note pages here, left and right side, and three. So you get three note pages, and then here on the back, they include a list of the holidays uh, and where what dates they are in 2024 and what dates those holidays are in 2025. And this is more of like that hard material. Oh, and then here, cool, it has a map of the United States and it includes the states and the capitals. And then we have like a purple, a lavender back in here and it's solid in the back here. All right guys, so this was the Belinda Celine for Blue Sky Planner Collaboration. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, this flip through of this new planner that I plan on using as a creative journal. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys thinking about purchasing this planner? Um, like I said, there are other designs. If you guys look on the Staples website, you'll be able to see it. But um, and I think I'm going to try to find the Belinda Celine video where she kind of shows you all of her planners too. I think she has all the designs that are in this collection. I'll try to link that video down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like, subscribe, and notification button. That way you may be notified of my future videos. Thank you so much for your support and I can't wait to see you guys all in the next one. Bye.